all right guys so i'm done i put everything back as far as i know everything back is all everything is back on the car all the wires and shit and uh you know the drive shaft all i have to do is put the wheel and uh there wasn't there's no coolant in there i went ahead and pulled like one gallon of coolant but i guess that's not enough so i'm gonna need to buy more i don't have any more right now I'm gonna buy more of the Ford Orange coolant. That's what this takes. Or you can get uh, like another coolant that take that goes in all vehicles. I have one of those, but I didn't want it to change the the Ford Orange coolant, which is down there. I didn't want it to change that to a different color coolant. So that's why I ended up using that. Um, but you can put after you if, when you drain your coolant from your car, you can put any other coolant that's compatible with any other color coolant. Um, so right now I have my scan tool in the car connected and I went through all the steps of as far as you know making sure the VIN is input, inputted in the scan tool and I went to the, the features of the scan tool I'm just going to enter back in the car let you guys know so I went through the features of my uh, trans adaptation learning so that's like I said that's what you're gonna need to do after you replace a transmission so I have my Altel maxi scan tool here with me uh, I don't know if I can let you guys so I have blue lights in this car so you guys can't really see and I don't have my flashlight with me but basically it's a Altel scan tool so it's telling me to crank the engine that's why I had to go poke coolant in there because I didn't have coolant in there so I have a little bit of coolant in there now so it's telling me to start the engine or crank for five seconds if the engine does not start no do not depress the throttle in the menu for the transmission learning like for example if I click on that like it tells me a lot of details about it and you know how it works so I already read some of these at the beginning so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit yes um and then I'll hit yes. Okay. I just I'm using one of my hand right now. All right. I'm gonna go through all these three different um, categories for the transmission, uh, adaptation learning, and then I'll see if that uh, you know that works. But this is the beginning of it. You know, before it was a fault. So right now it goes through it. So you will need a scan tool like this, like I have. Or you can just take it to the dealership. I think they'll probably charge you like a uh, hundred dollars or two hundred to do this, or maybe one fifty. I'm not sure, but it's not going to be three hundred. But you're still saving a lot of money compared to how much they would charge you to put a transmission in there and do this. Plus, for a transmission, they'll charge you like three or four thousand to get a transmission and put it in the car and uh, do the transmission adaptation. Um, so turn the ignition on. The ignition is on already. Sure, that transmission gets like in the park position, depress the brake pedal and hold. So, this is what it's telling me. So, I'm gonna hold the brake pedal and it's gonna do another more adaptation learning. So, yeah, this is what I'm going through. I'm not gonna show you guys the whole step. Um, obviously. Uh, this is what it says is like it will go through all these touch point adaptations pass uh, all these clutch position compensation pass clutch travel tests like it will do all these tests and you will hear like I don't know if you guys can hear it but you will hear some noises coming from the transmission while it's doing these tests actuations and stuff and then uh, yeah and whenever it's done I guess if it doesn't find a fault then it'll be done uh, I haven't got to that point yet, but this is my first time using this scan tool to do this, guys. So, um, I just told I saw you guys this little part of it. Uh, start engine or crank for five seconds of engine does not start. If engine does not start, I'm just going to hit OK. I'm not even going to uh, do not ensure the following action has been taken. Or we'll crank for five seconds if engine does not start. OK. And it says test has found a fault. Okay. Say ignition switch to off position. 
okay all right guys so i went ahead and turned the ignition off like it told me to and then this um next screen came on uh clutch adaptive learning still performing and it says tcm transmission control motor power down clear it dtc's um travel following completion of this service routine so now it's doing this 45 seconds complete this function is now exiting all right so the clutch learning is done um, I'm gonna go ahead and check those other shift drum and transmission rain sensor testing out and see what happens there but uh, it should probably be the same thing so guys is doing the shift drum adaptive learning function complete so that was pretty quick uh, I'm gonna just hit OK Set the ignition switch to the off position. Same thing as before. Put it to the off position and then uh, and see what it says. But yeah, so now power down. Drop goes following completion of the service routine. Now, I'm not going to worry about any trouble codes, diagnostic trouble codes, because um, I can't, I cannot just go into it. So I'm going to wait until I finish the next one, the next adaptive learning, which is the transmission range. I'm going to wait till I finish that, and then I'll go back into the system and check for trouble codes. If there is, then I'm going to erase all of them. But, uh, because this is not a dealership scan tool, it's aftermarket, so it's not easy. Like, I can't just get a trouble code after each learning. Alright, so we power down from that. I'm going to power it back up. And I'm going to do the final one. And that takes 30 seconds. I'm happy that uh, it doesn't take this as long as I thought it would. 30 seconds is nothing. I hope the car does start after I put uh, enough coolant in there. It should. Um, the battery, like I said, this car has been parked in my garage for like, I think a month and a half since I started this and I took out the battery. So the battery, right now the battery reading 11.5, uh, which is kind of low. It needs to read. Um, now it says perform adaptive learning. So or verify adaptive learning. I'm gonna go with perform adaptive learning. Calibrate the transmission ring sensor, perform the function I recommend in the service menu. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Make sure it's in park, yes. Uh, place the gear selector in the lower, uh, place the gear selector in the lever position as indicated. Press the, the button once the proper gear position has been selected. The module will learn the position and prompt for gear position once completed after all gear positions have been completed press the ok a red color indicates the module is unable to learn the specified position the function will not continue until the system concern is resolved press ok all right so press the press the button once the gear selector is in the park position park learned reverse Reverse, learn, neutral. So we're gonna go to neutral, learned, drive, drive, learn. Now we're gonna go to low, low, learned. And that's okay. Move the gear cycle through the various gear position to verify the TR transmission sensor functions properly. Press OK to exit. Reverse. 
So I just moving it in different positions to make sure it's ready. Drive, low, drive, neutral, reverse, park. Okay, so we're good on that. And then now I have to set this switch off again. Turn off the car. Press OK. Just doing the powering down procedure again. But guys, yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess I have learned, I have learned all the positions and I did the transmission adaptation learning. Uh, this is a really good scan tool for do-it-yourselfers it's just like very expensive but uh once you are fixing your car by yourself and saving some money and maybe try to get a second job or something or help you know help and build your credit up uh all of that will help you be able to save up money or you can get with a friend you know you guys can go half on the, on the scan tool ebay has these scan tools amazon i'm sure has it too uh, buy it off of there you can you know change transmissions change engines and do the the learning procedures so um that's it for now guys lw auto head here just wanted to give you guys this bonus you know on the scan tool and doing the adaptation learning till next time peace out you know comment like subscribe for more of these videos and you know you guys can teach me some stuff i can teach you guys some stuff Peace out till next time. That's it.